The hit American medical drama series New Amsterdam, an adaptation of the equally critical acclaimed book Twelve Patients by Eric Mannheimer, is set to conclude in its season four run with its final episode. Knowing that the series will end by its fifth season, this final episode will be setting the stage for what happens in the next season. We have no idea what lies in store for our merry band of doctors, but for now, here is what we do know about what is to come next. So when is the final episode? Episode coming out. According to a statement by NBC, the season finale episode will be airing on the 24th of May. However, fans will have to be patient once again, no pun intended, as the fourth season of New Amsterdam is set to return on the 19th of April after a long break since its February episode, which aired on the 22nd of February. According to NBC, the reason for this hiatus was to make room for the State of the Union and Renee Zellweger's true crime limit series The Thing About Pam. This isn't the first time it took a hiatus like this, as the show has previously gone on a month-long break for the Winter Olympics. Recently, the teaser trailer for the 16th episode, titled All Night Long, was released by NBC. So it's been confirmed that the series is returning on the 19th. Between the April 19th return and the May 24th finale, the show will be airing six episodes to complete this season's run. Let's just hope we don't get any more delays in the middle. Middle. What has happened so far? It has been a very turbulent season so far. What started as just a show about medical director Dr. Max Goodwin breaking the rules at America's oldest public hospital to rework the U.S. medical system, as well as looking into his and the other hospital staff's personal lives, has changed into serious ethical and moral-driven drama. The fourth season is meant to be a new chapter for the team after a hectic first year at the New Amsterdam Medical Center. This season featured the characters' struggle to figure out how to find and maintain the joys in their lives, as the first episode, titled More Joy, suggests. This included Max finally embracing his hidden feelings for Dr. Helen Sharp, Dr. Floyd Reynolds' personal life, the relationship between Dr. Lauren Bloom and Dr. Layla Shinvari, as well as Dr. Iggy Forn's new career. There's also a new face in the hospital, in the form of Dr. Veronica Fuentes, who arrived at New Amsterdam to help help get the hospital back on its overburdened and underfunded feet. This, however, came at the cost of ending all of the programs that Max has introduced over the last three seasons. What to expect from the April return? After coming back from its two-month-long hiatus, fans are wondering what to expect from the upcoming episodes, as the season finale is almost upon us, with no major plot points being concluded. Here are some things that we all want to see before the season reaches its climax. Max. Will Max propose to Helen? We saw Max practice proposing to himself in the mirror for the teaser to the upcoming episode, although he did have some trouble opening the box. Is he actually going to ask Helen the big question? Now, that does look like something to end the season on, but will it ever come to pass? And if it does, will Helen say yes? They seem like a perfect couple, but Helen is currently in London, while Max is in New York, and unless they're trying to go for a long-distance marriage, they have a lot of things to talk through first. However, considering how quickly they moved when they did get together, it's possible they may tie the knot soon. As Beyonce once said, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Has Iggy made a mistake with Trevor? Ever since Iggy hired Trevor, he has made his interests abundantly clear, and Iggy hasn't been discouraging of his behavior either. In the teaser, we see Iggy admit that he feels like something is missing from his life, to which Trevor response by saying that there is only one way to find out what it is. Seems like grounds for a new drama, if you ask me. We have good reasons to be worried about what this could mean. In an interview with TV Insider, Tyler Labine, the actor who plays Iggy, explained that it was a terrible idea for him to hire Trevor, both personally and professionally, and that it could lead to some serious trouble. Who is in the car with Casey? The teaser featured another scene where we see Bloom admit to Casey that she had screwed up but was trying to make things right. However, the very next scene shows him in a speeding car while asking the unknown driver how high they 
they are. Is this mystery driver Bloom? And should we be worried about their sobriety? Things don't seem to be going well for her, both professionally or personally, and it's obvious that her mental health is taking a serious hit. We've got our fingers crossed, hoping for the very best for her character. Will Max oust Veronica? We know that Max is hoping that his new job at the UMI and a spot on the board seat will help him with his goal to remove Veronica as the medical director at New Amsterdam. But it looks like this won't be an easy task, since Max isn't really liked by his fellow board members. Veronica was brought in for a purpose, and if Max wants to get rid of her, he'll have to face everyone who doesn't share his or the new AM's views. As much as we want Veronica gone, it sure does look like a bumpy road to get to that point. If Max gets rid of Veronica, who will be the new medical director? The exact same question that Casey had asked Max as he was trying to recruit him for UMI. It's clear that if Max doesn't take the seat himself, it's possible that getting rid of Veronica would just end up creating new problems for New Amp. Also, it's not like Max would get his old job back that easily either. It is an extremely tricky and delicate situation all around. What is going on with Lynn's baby? Lynn and Reynolds' relationship has grown even more complicated after she finds out that she is pregnant but doesn't know who the father of her child is, leading to a very tense situation. The teaser trailer showed Lynn confronting Reynolds and explaining that she has something to talk to him about. What's in store for this relationship? We are all hoping against hope for a happy ending for this troubled couple. Will Max return to London? Will Max be able to leave behind New York after dealing with Veronica and returning to his life back in London with Helen and his daughter? Or will he feel the need to stay, like when he knew the resistance had fallen apart after Floyd's betrayal? Max is faced with a major dilemma. Will he leave New York and abandon New Am? Or will he stay in New York and risk jeopardizing his relationship with his daughter and the woman he loves? Next, recognition from The Who. Producer David Schulner revealed in an interview that he had received a letter last year from Christopher Bailey, the arts and health lead at the World Health Organization, which stated that he and his team at The Who greatly appreciated his work and the show itself. The show was praised for its efforts in folding in issues and approaches in the medical health sector that aren't usually shown to the public. Stuff like the environmental damages caused by hospitals and the affordability of health care are things that no one usually talks about but are covered by the TV series. The series' COVID montage and Max's optimistic philosophy on community engagement also received praise. Bailey also indicated that Max's dialogue about racism being classified as a disease is being taken to heart by The Who. It's quite the achievement for a simple medical drama series to get such an overwhelmingly positive response from The Who of all things. And it goes to show the level of commitment the producers have to the immersion of the series as a whole. When will the fifth season air? It appears that Dr. Goodwin and the staff at New Amsterdam Hospital will soon be hanging up their stethoscopes, as according to Deadline, the series will be calling it quits after the end of the fifth season. They also shared that the fifth season will be the shortest season of them all at only 13 episodes and will most likely air between late 2022 to early 2023. So fans can be pleased to know that it likely won't be a long wait. The president of Universal Television, Erin Underhill, stated that she knew New Amsterdam would be a winner the moment she had read the script, and that she was proud of the series and the team for working so hard on bringing the series to where it is today. Honestly, we agree with everything she said. The journey so far has no doubt been full of twists and turns, but it has been a genuine joy to watch it all unfold, and we can't wait to see how the story ends. That's a wrap for this video. What are your predictions for the upcoming episodes? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.